Hi everyone, Rocker here. Uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about the fact that the Gorians, about Gorians, the Gorian community, and about being placed under protection. Now a lot of times that you'll hear that when you're placed under protection that all oh, you must be fearful of somebody or you need protecting from a dangerous element or whatever. In this particular case with this girl, uh, the one that was murdered, is that was not the case at all. She didn't need protection from anyone or from uh, a bad community or anything like that. But what ended up happening is that her husband ended up passing away um, two to three years earlier and she just felt overwhelmed. Uh, she went through depression. Um, there's numerous different thoughts that were going on, but she was just overwhelmed and it was too much for her. Now, fortunately, is with her and her husband is that they belong to a very well-known, a very large clan within the Gorian community. And basically, it's called a tribe as well. And what it is, these are people that, that get along with each other. They have the same kind of ideologies, and they decide that they want to unite as a chosen family in order to be able to support, encourage, and look out for one another, to be able to be there. They needed help building a deck, or they were doing some lawn work, sodding, any of those kind of things, is that they basically became their second family. You know, in BDSM, in leather and Gorian terms, we call that their chosen family. And that these are people that you choose, that you want to spend uh, a lot of intimate time with. A lot of time as far as fellowshipping, celebrating birthdays, anniversaries, uh, children's graduations, all these things. And this particular clan was a lot like that. Now, <clears throat> with this girl that was murdered, is that what ended up happening with her is that when her husband died, she was overwhelmed. And there was a lot of people stepped up to the plate and offered to be able to help. That's one of the beautiful things about the Gorian community. And I'm not talking about the online nonsense, because that is a joke. And the reason why I'm going to tell you that is a joke. There have been numerous people have been a passing away that were supposedly good friends with a whole bunch of other people. And it was months or even years later that people find, found out that they ended up passing. There was no support there for their family. Uh, most of these people have never visited each other in their homes. They don't even know actually where they live or even what their real names are. You know, So we're not talking about the online stuff because that's a totally different ball game when I'm talking about the Goring community offline the real Goring community and with that is that you have Gorings that will want to get together with each other to be able to celebrate uh, times when when things are good to be able to be there to be able to support and lift up when times are bad and that is what a Goring community is all about now with this particular tribe it was one of the largest tribes within Gorian history and uh, there is upwards to 50 60 people at one time point were a part of this tribe and that when this girl in a passing away is that several people within that group decided that they wanted to be able to help and they offered her to be able to come stay with them they offered her support they offered to be able to to, to help to support her during her her anguish and her dismay and just the sense of, of feeling alone and now uh, you know when your husband dies it's just it's overwhelming what that does when when a partner that you know and you love and you spent years with just suddenly passes away without any kind of warning uh, that's very difficult now <clears throat> with being under protection the defense team is going to try making that to be a big deal is that you know there's she was fearful of people within the community it was you know it's a bad place da, da 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 that is not that is not the case at all it was just placing her under protection or letting people know that she was being looked after letting her know that if there were people out there that were basically looking for uh, someone to be able to date or whatever is that she was not in that headspace she was not in that place where she had any interest in wanting to do any of those things uh, she put all her focus and effort into her work and spending time with the few people that knew that they had her well-being at heart, that knew that, that, they, that they wanted to, to look out for her, to be able to support her through the good and the bad, the sad and the happy, and all those things. So I just wanted to share that with you today because the defense team is going to try making a big deal about this, and it really isn't that big of a deal. So... 
Gorians, we do look out for one another. It is important that we do, and that, that we do come together, especially during a time like this. Now, I've had numerous requests from people asking if they want names and all this stuff, and right now is there's still investigators on FetLife, on Biker Kiss, some of these other social medias trying to dig up stuff. And basically, once the trial gets here at that point, um, all the gory details are, are going to come out exactly what happened. Our community is important. Uh, being part of a tribe, of a homestone, of a of family is important. And losing someone that close to you, that you've invested your life in a master-slave dynamic, and suddenly losing them just turns people's worlds upside down. And so I thought I just want to share this because I know this is one of the things that's going to come out during the trial that they're going to spin this to be a negative thing that they're you know that the, that the community is evil that people need a protection from one another and in this particular situation that was not the reasoning or the rationale behind it it was basically just to be able to give her a buffer that she could focus on her own life on her own well-being her own mental health and to be able to get back to a, a good, solid place. And I'm happy to say that near the end, she was. She was working, she was happy. Uh, she was very involved in her community, very involved in her community, both locally and also as far as continuing to speak, to educate, to be able to inform and wanting to lift up the Gorian and the BDSM community as a whole. So thank you very much. Take care.